who caused more trouble on the road, Marty or Sean Waltman? Marty. Marty caused a lot of problems. I mean, there are some stories I can't even tell here because, well, I could tell some stories, but I'd get sued. So, but I do remember on this particular flight, I was like in the middle of the plane and Marty and Sean were in like the row next to the last row. And they had two girls back there and another guy. So, and then they recognized Marty and they recognized Sean. And, you know, now Marty starts talking to them and then the girls move a little closer and now they're all bunched up back there. And I think Sean was still, he, he was like in the, the last row of seats. He was kind of going to sleep. So I looked back at Marty and he winked at me like, okay, something's going down. So we got up, plane landed. We got up to leave. And Marty just came up to the middle of the plane. And I look in the back, and these are the these are the girls and the guy. They're knocked the hell out. I says, What about your friends? He said, Oh, that'd be all right. Didn't say another word about them or nothing. And then as we were getting off, I saw some people coming on. It looked like medical people. And the police, I'm, like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Nothing happened about it, but what he did, he roofied every one of them and knocked them out. He didn't do nothing to them. He just knocked them because they kept saying, oh, you wrestlers, man, y'all really know how to have a good time. And, man, you're always partying and this and that and the other. And he was just going along with them and just left them on the plane completely knocked out. I guess they found out later that somebody had put something in their drinks, whatever they were drinking. But, I mean, Marty was far gone. So was, so was Sean. But Sean didn't have anything to do with it. It's all Marty. And Marty would always start trouble. Well, not necessarily trouble, but he would start something and then he'd leave. He left, he left those people in the plane just knocked out. Is there any wonder that Marty holds the record for being fired from WWE? I think it's eight times or maybe nine. <laughs> uh, he don't care. He does not care. Now, he made a statement not too long ago about a dead body that they haven't found. Remember that? Yeah, vaguely. He made a Facebook post, didn't he? Yeah, and then they went out and they said, well, what is he talking about? Because sometimes they watch social media because somebody may inadvertently uh, expose a crime they did in not thinking about it. And they went and looked in this lake. And I think it's a ray. Uh, Mar Marty's from uh, Columbus, Georgia. That's where he's from. And it's a big army base. Fort Benning is there. And it's a sprawling army base. So who knows what is out in some of those rivers and lakes on, on Fort Benning or even around there. But they went to look and they didn't find anything, which is not to say they won't find anything. But, but see, a lot of people, if you know Marty, could he be running, just running his mouth or could he be actually telling the truth, which is hard to tell. See, Marty, Marty works his own cafe with everybody else. He's in his own world. And I always liked Marty, because, but I never hung around with him. I never went out with him because I, got enough, I had enough things going on in my life at that time without trying to complicate it with any kind of Marty shenanigans. <laughs> 